Find an equation of the set of all points equidistant from the points A and B. Describe the set. So I have two points A and B and I have a point P with the coordinates X, Y and Z and P has the same distance from A to B. So since the distance from a to P is equal to the distance from P to B, I can write this. AP, the length of the line AP is equal to the length of the line PB. Okay, so let me give you a recall of the distance formula. So recall, if I have two points A, B, C and another point x y z i have two points like this the length of this line segment or i can say the distance between a and p has this formula i can write it like d it would be the square root of the differences between the first coordinates square plus the difference between the second coordinates square plus c minus z squared. That is the distance formula between two points in a space. So now AP is equal to PB. So let me write the distance formula for both. So it would be x minus negative 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared plus z minus 3 squared. And I'm going to set this equal to the square root of x minus 6 square plus y minus 2 square plus z minus negative 2 square. Okay, let me move this one to here. Okay, good. So now I need to solve this equation to find x, y, and z. How do I do that? I have a square root of something equals the square root of another thing. So I square both sides. So I get rid of the um, square root. I get y minus 5 square plus z minus 3 square, which is equal to x minus 6 square plus y minus 2 square plus z plus 2 square. Okay, now I raise them to the power of 2, so I get x squared plus 1 plus 2x, this is 4, this one, plus y squared plus 25 minus 10y, this is for this one, and now for the third one, I have z squared plus 9 minus 6z, and I set it equal to x squared plus 36 minus 12x plus y squared minus 4y plus 4 plus z squared plus 4 plus 4z. Okay, let me, let me give you another recall, okay, just in case. So if you have a plus b squared, this is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab and if i have a minus sign in here i get a minus sign in here okay which means what which means a minus b square is a square plus b square minus 2ab that is a recall okay this is something that i did in here now let me simplify i have x square in here and i have another x square on the other side I have y square in here, y square in here. I have z square in here and then z square in here. Perfect. Now let me bring all the variables in one side so that um, I can simplify. I have a 2x in here and I have negative 12x. So I'm going to bring negative 12x on the other side. So together I have 14x. What else? I have a negative 10y in here and 
negative 4y in here. So I'm going to bring negative 4y on the other side. So negative 10 plus 4y, it would be negative 6y. What else? I have a negative 6z and I have a 4z. So I'm going to keep negative 6z in here. Bring this one on the other side. It would be negative 10z. And I'm going to bring all the constant into the other side. So what are the constant? One of them is 1. The other one is 25, which would be 26. And then plus 9, it would be um, 26 plus 9, it would be 35. So I'm going to bring 35 on the other side. What else? I have 36 in here plus 4, it should be 40, plus 4 would be 44, so plus 44, so I get this equation, 14x minus 6y minus 10z is equal to 9, okay, as you see here, this is an equation of a plane, because x, y, and z they don't have any power, any exponent. So this is an equation of a plane. So this is a 3D space like this. And now I'm going to graph this plane. So as you see, I have this plane in here. Now, what are the points? The point A x coordinate is negative so i'm gonna be here negative one and then y is five so five units i'm gonna go along the y-axis and three units up so the point a would be here and this quadrant um octant and this octant in here how about the point b the point b would be six units on the x-axis two units along the y-axis and negative two um down there in here so the point b is here the point a is here so as you see uh the plane basic uh the plane describes all the points that have equidistance from these two so that's a plane in here that's a plane Okay, so if I want to write it in words, I need to write like this. The set of all the points, the set of points is a plane perpendicular per. Perpendicular to the line segment joining joining A and B. Okay. 